when, when you're looking at a fund, it depends on where you are in your investing, what it is you're looking for. If you're looking for income, are you looking for growth? Are you looking for a, a tax? Uh, shelter? No, you don't say tax shelters. Credits? There are no tax shelters. If you're looking for tax help. <laughs> tax help. <laughs> if tax you're looking, offsets. If you're, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. If you're looking for uh, some sort of depreciation or write-off to offset other uh, passive income, <clears throat> or uh, do you want, have a place to put your self-directed retirement account where uh, the uh, taxes aren't going to be affected? Yeah, and right? that's another thing that's really <clears throat> important is what kind of cash are you using? Is it real cash? Is it um, monopoly? Self-directed money? <laughs> monopoly? <laughs> self-directed money may be monopoly money shortly. Yes. Yeah, if they get away with what they're trying to do. But uh, yeah, I mean, even where your cash is coming from uh, mm -hmm. is really important as to what kind of a fund you should be uh, investing yeah, I mean, in. If, if you have a self-directed IRA, which means you can direct those invest that money into whatever investment you want, that's legal. Um, you know, you can put that into a fund and a fund that doesn't own assets. And that's perfect for an IRA because it can't capitalize on the tax offsets. That's right. Because it's a tax deferred vehicle. Like an apartment building development versus notes. Yeah, exactly. If your if your income or your gain in the fund is derived by taxable income, then it's a perfect place uh, to put a tax deferred or tax exempt money. Yep. If it's um uh, not and you you would like to have some of those write-offs then uh, you would invest in something that owns property that has that that type of and then uh, tax the interest. other thing to be thinking about too that a lot of people just you know blow through and they don't really pay attention is is there a life to this investment you know is it a five-year term is it mm -hmm. unlimited is it an evergreen um and um can you compound the money that you put in, or are you going to have to take everything out? Yeah. So every like, quarter. So like syndications are typically, you know, you get maybe a pref plus a, an equity piece on the back end, right? Um, that would be a preferred return. Preferred. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and in like a in, a, in a fund that compounds your, your principal, you know, basically I think we were talking about what example in the fund from someone that invested I don't know. I think it was like seventy thousand dollars or something like that, right? Is that our parents? No, that's a different one. But yeah, yeah we had uh, someone that uh, initially, I believe, put fifty thousand dollars in our fund, and after uh, how long? Five years? It was in. It was in twenty. Yeah, it was twenty. The end of twenty fifteen, first of twenty sixteen. So right about five years. Yeah, it so, had doubled, uh, right? Uh, oh, that. I am talking about our parents. We, oh, we had a thirteen point seven five percent return because it was compounding over time. Yeah, uh, we had another one that was uh, it got in a little bit later, but that that return was uh, ten, almost ten and three quarters as well. Yeah. So if you don't understand compound interest, after what was it five, four or five years, whatever it was, it was thirteen point seven five. Sure. If they keep it in there and the and the fund they keep their dividends in there, they, not dividends. Yeah, they keep their principal and their distributions Distribu go back in, then that 13.75 just keeps getting bigger. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like so it, it'll turn into 15%. Mm -hmm. Then at some point you keep it in long enough, it could be a 20% return. That's right. It's the the opposite of paying your uh, extra principal to your loan if you're a borrower. That's money. right because you're only being charged interest on the outstanding balance. And in this case, uh, when you're compounding, you're, you're being paid on the compounding, uh, on the ever increasing balance, you're being uh, paid a return. Right. On. 